one of my favourite songs of the summer. It's called Watch Nobody by Atom Man. And he's here in the studio with us right now. Yay. Um, thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, my pleasure. All the way from Croydon today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you working on at the moment? Uh, we're working on a, a couple of singles and, you know, collaborations. Uh, we just actually rushed here from the studio because I was working with Splash Boys today. Dog. So, yeah, we're doing working still. I'm yeah. excited. We're here to talk about your new single with Big Nasty, but before yeah. we do, I feel like we need to talk about Watch Nobody with yeah. Pagey Cakey. Like, yeah. It's such a good tune. Yeah. How did it all come about? We recorded this song last year uh, with a guy called Delirious. He's, he's based in North London. And then at the time, he was working with Pagey Cakey. But me and Paige go way back because we, we, we met on a couple of shows and we talked that, oh, we, we would try to do something together. So when we put the song together, actually we put a beat together and I was like, oh, this beat kind of needs a female vibe on that on there. So And then he said, wait, I'm working with Paige. So we hollered at Paige and he said, yeah, Tumpan, come on, I can come through. So she came through that day and then we just put it together. It was so quick and yeah. That's watch nobody. Let's so let's talk about your new track. It's yeah. called We Like It because yeah. we do actually like yeah, it. Oh, thank you. And it's with Big Nasty, probably yeah. one of my favourite personalities. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> talk to me about it, and then we'll play it. He is my favourite personality as well, to be honest. Uh, okay, we I met uh, Big Nasty in 2013 at uh, the Urban Music Award. He took an award, and I took an award, and so it was good for us to mm. talk at the time, yeah. you know. So, and then one time. I did this song and I said, you know what, I think Big Nasty will be good on it. But to be very honest with you, I wasn't sure. Yeah. And then I sent him over and he said, bro, yeah, I can I can jump on this. I thought that, you know, usually when you send your song to an artist, you expect them to write and, you know, come in. Mm. This guy just came and just went into the booth and freestyled. What? So what happened was that he freestyled so much that we had to literally chop it up and take the parts that we want. <laughs> I love how he basically was just like, yeah, it's just me now. We don't yeah, need, I yeah, don't need you anymore. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, when is it available? How can people get their hands on it? It's everywhere, to be honest. Uh, iTunes, Spotify, everywhere. Like every music outlet. And it's out now. It's out now. It's out now. It's out now. Yeah. Bang on. Bang on. Well, you can pre-order yeah. now. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's out on the. Is it 14th of October? It's yes. Like, yeah. Oh, you got your facts. I know my facts. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which Cause, leads cause me on to my game. I was going to call manager for that, but <laughs> yeah. you know. Quick, so, quick, yeah, 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 yeah. 14th of October. Yeah. Um, my game, Wikipedia, mm. facts or fiction? Oh, Are you ready? Yeah. Let's see. You went to um, university at the University of Education in Winneba. Yes. And you studied linguistics. Yes. Very cool. Interesting. So you weren't planning on music at this stage, or why linguistics? I was, I was doing music way, bo- way before education and all that. Mm. But my parents didn't want me to do music. They just wanted me to go to school and get all the mm. degrees. So I said, you know what, I'll get it for you and do my music on the side. Yeah. So I did all that, got a degree, got a master's and everything. And then I was doing my music, you know, yeah. And are they happy now that you yeah, did music? Yeah, you know what? And what all the things that I give them, it's not even coming from all that education. You know, yeah. it's coming from the music. You know, so yeah. Do you find that the degree, the degree helped you in a way, like with your music in any way? I think you know what? If I had, if I had not really educated myself, I'll be a musician, but I'll be in the dark. Yeah. Because like since I've been here, especially the way the system is and all that, if I was not educated, I'll, I'll, I'll be lost here. Yeah. Um, your name. Atom Pan mm. means talking drum. Yeah. Why? What? What made you pick that name? Okay, talking drum is is is, is actually a drum. Uh, in West Africa, it's a drum that in the olden days used to be uh, used. They used that to give information. So in the olden days, when you hear the sound of that drum, you had to stop whatever you were doing right. to actually go to the king's palace or whatever the drum tells you. Mm. You do that. Yeah. You know. So when it got to a point of choosing a name for my career. I said, what are that important name to you? Because mm. it's like when you hear the sound of my voice, you have to stop. Working. Everyone listen. I like listen that. Yeah. What's next for you? We're touring. So we got a tour coming up in October uh, with Big Nasty. So he is touring the UK and he is going with me. So yeah. and I will be going to Ibiza and all that. Amazing. And then in December, there is a show coming up called December to Remember with Fatumpan. So that's what we're working on at the moment and hopefully next year we will drop an album that yeah. would be so good you'll have to come back and see us if you drop of an album of course man this is my house and I'm leaving my signature here <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming yeah. in to chat to yeah, us thank you so much really appreciate it we can do it like this no man could do it like this can't move like this can't we play this can't shock it like shock it